So in this video, I am going to give you the best tips for you to quickly unlock platinum for all your SMGs in MW2. In order to unlock platinum SMGs, you have to get 25 long shots. A long shot with an SMG is 30 meters or more. You're going to want to play tier one, which is the hardcore version of MW2. You can play core or the regular version. It's just going to take a lot longer to get kills and most of the time you'll get outgunned by ERs. The mode you should be playing is control. MW2 spawn system is squad based. This means you will spawn wherever your teammates are. This makes it harder to spawn trap enemies on game modes like domination, but in control, both teams spawn relatively close to the objective and on opposite sides. This makes it a lot easier to read the spawns compared to other game modes, but occasionally you'll still get someone spawning behind you. But after playing for a while, you will realize where enemies are spawning based on what control points is being captured. Also, if your team caps the point and you die, you don't have to wait to respawn like if you're playing a game mode similar to headquarters. Before hopping into a game, there's a very important optic you need, which is the X10 Angel 40. When you ADS with this optic, it shows the distance between you and the area you are pointing at. So this is important because in tier one, you don't have the ability to see your pings. This gives you the information you need to properly position yourself for these long shots. Now all you have to do is position near an objective or the choke point and make sure that the optic says 30 meters or more then just spray away when you see anything moving. So we're not done yet but really quick if you learned something from this video do me a favor smash that like button it helps me out a lot and it's totally free. Subscribe if you want more MW2 and Warzone 2 content and we are getting close to 500 subs but the next big tip is I would not recommend to do the MP5 and Hurricane first, okay? So these two SMGs are the only ones that do not have the ability to equip this optic. If these two SMGs are the main ones you want to get plat for and you don't care about the other SMGs, I recommend unlocking plat for at least one or two SMGs with an X10 Angel 40 optic so you can get a better understanding of how far 30 meters is and what areas you should be holding. Once you figure out those general areas and how far 30 meters is, you can go ahead and run those two guns and get platform. It's just gonna take a lot longer and you're gonna be shooting people and expecting it to be 30 when you don't know if it's 30 or not. So this is an example build of how you want your SMG, okay? So this is the X10 Angel 40. As you can see, this is what it looks like. If you don't have it unlocked, uh, for example, I don't have these optics unlocked. It shows you right here, unlocked by leveling the 0.50 GS to level four, right? So that's how you'll un like figure out how to unlock it if you haven't unlocked it yet. But again, I'll repeat, this is the optic you want. And then of course, for everything else in the build, you kind of want to just go for straight recoil control and bullet velocity and possibly damage range. We are playing hardcore, so we don't have to really worry about damage range. Um, and then here is just more bullet velocity and recoil control. And then I'm running the phase three grip. This is good for the recoil stabilization, but you could also run the pineapple grip right here. This one works very well as well. And if the last attachment, add a mag, just because you're using an SMG at far range, so you end up just spraying all your bullets within like the first kill. So I highly recommend you guys do that. Also for the tuning, like tuning in this game is a little weird because I don't know if it really helps. The only one that I feel like it helps is when you tune your optic. So you could choose whether you want close or far. So this is how it looks like close, right? This is how it looks like close. This is a little bit of a like visual recoil. And then if it's far, this is how it looks like far. A little bit less visual recoil, but then now you're going to have issues where you can't see how far people are like that guy might be smaller, but if it's like the optic is up close, you're going to have a bit like a more magnified 
view of the person so that's just up to you but everything else i mean you don't have to change it unless you don't want to but i essentially all went for recoil steadiness and damage range that's what i did for bullet velocity recoil smoothness and here aiming stability and recoil stability stabilization geez and then for my secondary i'm also running a knife just to so get around the map a lot faster um the tactical doesn't really matter but then for lethal you can run claymores in case you're worried about people flanking you uh, and this is my perk package that I'm using. So bomb squad because it's a whole bunch of random nades. Scavenger in case you need to pick up ammo. Cold blooded because you're just chilling essentially in one spot. You don't want to get shot by freaking like kilos and stuff. And then lastly, ghost because like I said, you're going to be sitting in one spot trying to find little angles to be shooting people at a far distance. Um, if people pop UAVs and heartbeat, all this other stuff. They're going to see you ahead of time and they're going to beam you. Uh, it's going to get a little frustrating. So that's what I'm running for my perk package. And for here, I wouldn't run dead silence I would run uh, munitions box because you're gonna be spraying people and most of the time you're chilling in one spot because you're trying to get long shots um, so scavenger might not be as helpful but you'll have the munitions box if you need it um, but yeah so that is essentially all the tips I have for getting platinum all your freaking SMGs I am very close on finishing them all I did all of these here I just gotta level up the stupid mp7 but uh, I might just wait for when there's like a double XP event or something. But I hope you guys learned something from this video. If you guys did, do me a favor. Just go ahead and smash that like button. If not, it's cool. I'm just glad you guys watch it all the way through. I'll see you guys next time. Good luck on the SMG camel grind. Peace.